my name is Krishna Breifeld. Um, I'm a graduate student of uh, TU Delft uh, Institute of Technology. I um, graduated at the end of January um, on uh, urban water supply in co collaboration with Vitas and Vitas International. And what is um, your role in the Capacity Development Symposium? Um, I presented a paper about um, uh, water operational partnerships mm -hmm. and I looked at institutional um, transportation issues. So how can we learn from the experiences in the Netherlands um, to be transplanted to help um, drinking water supply in Malawi, uh, especially in Lilongwe. That's, uh, that's my did, contribution to Why that. did you uh, choose Malawi? Um, well, um, Vitense Avidis, they had a project uh, in Malawi and I was looking for a developing country that um, um, with water supply issues Mm -hmm. and also something with institutions and yeah after discussion with um, Simon uh, the director um, yeah we came to this project basically so that's, uh, that's where I found all the elements I needed for to, yeah, to please my interest and can you maybe uh, name just a few points of your uh, presentation today uh, just a few points um, I well, I, um, I focused on um, asset management, on the experiences from the Netherlands, what can be learned from those experiences to be um, transported to Malawi. And Just can you name an example of one of um, those experiences? Yeah, for example, I, um, I proposed a caretaker strategy. That's a good uh, way to, uh, to, yeah, to um, create ownership on data management and mm -hmm. to assist in decision making, but also um, uh, to create competition among um, maintenance teams in urban um, drinking water organizations. So how was it uh, received? By um, them? It was well received. Also I get um, nice feedback to help improve my paper. That's also one of the aspects I really appreciate about this conference. There are a lot of um, experts um, on different fields that can help you to improve um, yeah, your knowledge and experience and yeah, and your paper and get you move along basically. Yeah. So how do you think that um, the topic of capacity development will come into play specifically with regards to your research? Um, yeah, what my paper or yeah, my research um, shows is that uh, institutions do matter and to look at um, when you talk about capacity um, improvements. Um, and also, yeah, by looking at institutions, you can achieve a better way to allocate uh, resources, to allocate, um, um, yeah, your uh, also your physical assets, the financing. It provides your broader perspective on how to deal with um, issues. There's not only water, but also other aspects matter that, um, um, to improve um, water supply. And um, when you go home, what is the message that you would like to take with you? Um, the message that I would like to take with me is um, that w drinking water supply is more complex than I, yeah, and than I essentially thought. And what I would like to take home is yeah to to see more elements of drinking water supply um, uh, issues to other sectors. So how can I lessons I learned from this symposium? How can I also extrapolate them to other fields. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one thing I want to take on with me. And what is maybe, finally, one thing that you would maybe do different after this symposium? Uh, one thing I would do different? Um, well, really basically, <laughs> I would um, um, I think differently about water already. And now I get more conscious about even like having a shower and that kind of thing, but it's also uh, more in the sense of what it means for other countries, uh, developing countries also, yeah, that's the kind of, the people that are here present, they come from all different backgrounds, have all different history with water, and so, yeah, it makes more, yeah, talking to, to those people, it makes, it gives an impact on my behavior also, like, how to interact and deal with water. Great. Thank you very much.